John Beltran back in Fort Morgan. The Mustang starting lineup brought to you by B&B Appliance with over 30 years of experience. B&B Appliance can help match the appliances to your needs at 502 Ensign in Fort Morgan. That's B&B Appliance. Well, I already see a player from Mountain View. <laughs> Let's see if they're on my roster before we get to the starting lineups. We don't want that to happen this early. Well, we'll keep a uh, close eye on that. A very close eye on that. We'll so we might send it down here to the public address announcer. to get a clarification. You know, rarely do you have a starter that's not on the roster, but we're going to update it right now in just a second to make sure that we are good to go. Let's give this a second. Well, I've got a roster that's not matching up at all. I've got a roster for Mountain View that is not matching up at all. I've never seen anything like this. I know I'm looking at the right one. All right, the Mustangs go with Aiden Garber, Jackson Weedrick, Charlie Langford, Gavin Taylor, and Rodrigo Alvarez. Yeah, we're literally going to have to do this differently for Mountain View. All right. All right. Okay, Aiden Vansel. I don't know who the zero is on this roster either. That's another one. Javi Carrillo at 23. Huh. All right, this is... This is as odd and weird as it gets. Yeah, this roster does not match up. We'll have to... I'll have to get an official roster and, and kind of wing it through here. So we'll be identifying Mountain View... Through numbers. It's the only way we can do it right now. This roster does not match up whatsoever from what we have. I mean, I'm looking at the 2023 20, 24 roster. I don't even know if that's Brady Messenger jumping center. Didn't sound like he was being announced. We'll call it Messenger for now, and it's controlled by Fort Morgan. With the basketballs, Jackson Wiedrich over to Alvarez. Maybe the Mustangs will just have the ball the remainder of the game. Opening tip brought to you by Buildings by Design. Jump pass inside to Wiedrich. Back out to Garver. Penetrating into the lane. Fades, shoots, and misses from 10 feet away. And the ball is tipped around. And Mountain View has got the rebound. And with the basketball, we'll say that's Messenger right now. But again, completely different names than what we have. Spinning left of the lane is zero, and the ball is out of bounds. It was poked behind by Rodrigo Alvarez. I mean, I've triple-checked the roster, and it's completely different than what's on line. At the top, zero takes the three, and it's off to the right, and the ball is loose. It's still loose. It's out of bounds. It's off a of mounted view. Yeah, we'll have to take a picture of the roster probably by halftime take an extended break and then we'll get these players all in check Aiden Garver pressured in the backcourt out there with Alvarez in the backcourt and Charlie Lankford 
Front court pass to Rodrigo Alvarez. Dribbling left corner. Here's Gavin Taylor with the basketball. Over to Alvarez. Dribbling towards the left corner by a defender. Jump pass inside is poked away. And it's intercepted by Mountain View. Bounce pass is knocked out of bounds by Charlie Lankford. Intended for who we believe is Brady Messenger. It'll be Mountain View basketball. There's the lob in on the outside right. Back near the timeline, Mountain View control the basketball. Straight away, they are 0-4, Fort Morgan 0-5, and, and the three-pointer is missed, but it's taken by Mountain View, and then the ball is banked in by number 23 of Mountain View. Two to nothing. Ball tipped away, intended for Weedrick. One against one all the way. Number one banks and misses the tip. No good. And Messenger has tried to get the put back. He'll swing it back out. Now on the left side, a three is up. And that's going to be a traveling violation on Mountain View before the three was missed anyway. Fort Morgan basketball, 621 to go in the opening quarter. It is two to nothing Mountain View with a roster that is nowhere to be found. So we'll have to get the official book. Here's Gavin Taylor, swings it down low for Wiedrich all the way, Banks, offensive foul. Gavin Taylor scored, but it does not count. It is an offensive foul. And the Mustangs commit their second turnover. And now Mountain View with the controls. They're wearing their home blacks and road blacks, Fort Morgan in their home whites. On the outside left, that could be Messenger. Looking, penetrating left baseline and a foul. No, a travel, wow. There was contact though. Two turnovers for each team, sloppy start. We played over two minutes, only two nothing Mountain View. Aiden Garber, left-handed dribble, and then his pass tipped away a steal, and then a shot is missed. And Aiden Garber grabs a rebound. The Mustangs got away with that one. Here's Rodrigo Alvarez. Dribbling by a defender into the paint. Alvarez has the ball stripped, and he is fouled in the lane. Before any shot attempt, a foul committed by zero of Mountain View. There's the lob by Alvarez near midcourt to Wiedrich. Jackson Wiedrich to his right, hands it off to Garver. Garver penetrates by defender all the way, hooks it up, left it short. The rebound is controlled by Mountain View. The other way, here come the Mountain Lions. At the top, that's one to 13. Now a left corner three is up, and that is around no good. Put back is up and blocked by Charlie Langford. Oh, that is a tremendous block by Langford. Mountain View retains possession, layup is up, is missed, and then the put back is up, and that is missed. Mountain View grabbing four rebounds. Langford over to Alvarez, banks and scores. Alvarez running the floor beautifully to tie the game at two. But Mountain View really hurting Fort Morgan on the boards. They had four attempts and missed them all. Mountain View the other way. Left corner three is up and that one is short. But they grab another rebound. And then the floater's up and around and short again. And then the ball is loose. Mountain View with another rebound on the floor. And then straight away, Zero takes a three. He misses again. And then another rebound on the right baseline by Mountain View. Entry pass put back up and in on the layup. Holy Mahungus. That is just horrendous defense by Fort Morgan. They're not blocking out anybody. As Zero did score, it is four to two. And again, we'll get all these names at halftime. First time in 27 years that I try to match up a roster. And I know I'm looking at the right one on Max Preps and nothing matches. I don't know who input it, but it does not match Mountain View at all. Listed as 0-4. Yep, I've got the roster, but it's this does not make any sense to me. How could an entire team be wrong? I mean, they are playing Mountain View, right? It's not another school. Nonetheless, it's 4-2 to in favor of Mountain View with 4.22 to go in the opening quarter. Now, that'll remind me just to get a, a roster before the game instead of the one that I always rely on off Max Preps. Garver jump pass backcourt to Alvarez. And then his pass is tipped away, but Alvarez chases it down underneath his own basket. Got to get it across the timeline. 
Alvarez, 10 seconds, he didn't do it. Yeah, it was tip, but you still have to get it across the timeline. I don't know why he just didn't toss that ball into the front court. Fort Morgan now with four turnovers. Mountain View with two. Low scoring first quarter midway through. Mountain View leads four to two. They're out rebounding Fort Morgan. Seven to one. Spinning in the lane is zero. Puts it up and in and a foul. He's got four points in the game. And the and one as the Fort Morgan foul on that little scoop was committed by Charlie Langford as first. Why haven't they counted the basket there? They finally did. For a five point lead, that one is up and that one is around and no good. Rebound is controlled by Gavin Taylor of Fort Morgan. Here's the outlet to Garver, left-handed dribble at the top, strip from behind. Mountain View the other way, Fort Morgan fit turnover, then Langford strips it. And Rodrigo Alvarez, baseball pass to Wiedrich, bounce pass to Taylor, banks it in with a left hand. Gavin Taylor off the feed from Wiedrich. The Mustangs draw to within two, it's six to four, three and a half to go in the opening quarter. Mountain View the other way, lob pass, and there's a hold inside. Aiden Garber held the Mountain View offender. Garber with his first, team's third. More substitutions, but I can only guess at this point for Mountain View. Unless that's Grayson Morby, that's what it says here, but nothing has matched up so far. In the right corner, left-handed dribble towards the top. That zero's got four points in the game. Into the paint, pulling up from 10, throwing it off to the right. Ball is loose in the corner. Wiedrich has it. Nice rebound by the Mustang senior, but then it's thrown away by the Mustangs, and the layup is up and in on the other end by 2-3, who's got four points. Six turnovers and four points for the Mustangs. Down eight to four, 2.58 to go, first quarter. Garver the other way. Jump pass, left corner, Taylor, three, throw up an air ball. Taken away by Mountain View. The other way here, zero all the way. Contact, Banks, and did he score the basket or did they call a, they had to have called a foul. There's no way, that would have been continuation. We have two different calls from the officials who are convening. I think one said offensive foul, the other said defensive. They're going to count the basket. Oh my God, count the basket and the foul. And that one's on Charlie Langford as second. Well, there's no continuation in high school basketball, but I guess there is now. I don't know, why, why is Taylor standing out of bounds? Taylor standing out of bounds for some reason, unless he's just well, well, they counted the basket. Should be one free throw. What are they doing? Maybe that's why Taylor's standing out of bounds. They just counted the basket and a foul on Langford. All right. Oh, boy, these officials got to get it together. J.J. Marquez will check in for Charlie, who has committed to play baseball at Colby Community College. Congratulations to Charlie. Spinning, shooting, and scoring. That Mountain View Mountain line now has seven points. The lead is seven. 11 to four. Alvarez, 2.43 to go in the opening quarter. Dribbling to his right. Right of the lane. Lost control. And then he's tied up. Possession arrow. Mountain View. Alvarez just out of control. That's one on five basketball. Got to get rid of it. There was no lane there. Mustangs playing a little bit too individually in the offensive end. Tony Mendez into the game as well. And their rebounding has been porous. Mountain View working the basketball around on the right baseline. Taylor defending, turning, shooting, missing, getting nothing but glass. His messenger, the rebound is grabbed by Taylor, his second. Outlet pass to Marquez in the high left. Jump pass outside right to Garver. Garver between his legs, retreats towards the timeline. Now to Alvarez. He'll set up the offense, 2-12 to go first quarter. Mountain View 11, Fort Morgan 4. On the high right to Tony Mendez. Left-handed dribble by defender. Ball is loose in the lane. Picks it up on his backside. Rolls it back out to Aiden Garver. Garver with two minutes to go. Left of the lane. Left corner, Alvarez 3 is off the back of the rim. Mountain View has yet another rebound in this game. That's their ninth as a team. Mountain Lions come the other way. Left of the lane. The hook shot is up and in. Little scoop there by... Whoever's wearing zero, he's got nine points, but there's no zero on my roster, but we'll find out again at halftime. 
Mountain View leads by nine, 13 to four, minute 35 to go. Garber all the way, up and under, he's fouled as he misses. Driving to the rack. Foul looks like it's on 2-3. And we've got the two free throws for senior Aiden Garver. First one is up, and that's off the back of the rim. Fort Morgan with only four points in the first six and one-half minutes. Free throw number two is coming up. That's up, and that's perfect. So Garver scores. And here comes Mountain View. Minute 25 to go in the first. Working the ball towards the top of the key. Spinning in the lane, fading, shooting, and scoring. That's zero again. And zero's got nine. 15 to five, Mountain View. A little 13-footer in the paint. Aiden Garver dribbling towards the corner. He's double teamed, jump pass to Alvarez. Dribbles by a defender, left of the lane, and then he's tripped up. That will be the third team foul on Mountain View. Committed by whoever's wearing number two. We're going to have to really switch things up at halftime. At the top here for Mendez. Mendez with a left handed dribble. Mendez hands it off to Marquez. Marquez to his left. Marquez looking, jump pass cross court is tipped away and out of bounds on the baseline is Morby. Taylor to throw it in in the backcourt along the side, 51.9 seconds to go. In the opening quarter, Aiden Garber will set up the offense for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. And then the ball is knocked away out of bounds just beyond midcourt. Garber to throw it in. Into the backcourt to Marquez. JJ left-handed dribble, jump pass front court to Alvarez. Alvarez dribbles towards the head of the three-point circle to his left. Underhand pass to Tony Mendez. Mendez crosses over left baseline, leans, banks, misses. A foul to the line. Tony Mendez. All right, the foul's on number two. This man's going to drive me crazy, just not knowing names. Thirty-two point one seconds to go. The free throw is no good. It got rim. It got glass. It went out. Free throw number two for Tony Mendez. That was a lane violation, but it's good anyway, so it doesn't matter. Lane violation on Mountain View would have been the case. Fifteen to six. Twenty-five seconds to go. First quarter. There's the three by zero. It's off to the right. Rebound is taken away by J.J. Marquez. The outlet to Garver. Left-handed dribble. Garver with the defender going to the floor. Offensive foul. Aiden's got two fouls in the game. The Mustangs with seven turnovers. And Garver now favoring his back. And he wants to stay in the game. And Coach Marquez is calling him out of the game in favor of Jackson Wiedrich because of the two fouls. We have a quick timeout here. We'll take it here from, by Mountain View with Fort Morgan down by nine in the opening period. 15 to six. Yeah, it almost looks like <laughs> the scores table is trying to match up something like I am. Again, in 27 years, I have never seen a roster on Max Preps completely different than what I see in the floor. The numbers are different. The announced names were different. So we're not taking a guess on the score or anything. We know that number zero has 11 points and number 23 has four. Who they are is a different story. And whoever's in charge of inputting on a max preps has made a huge mistake. Nonetheless, Mountain View basketball with 15.6 seconds to go. And they will have the final possession. At the top with seven, straight away three is up and that's off to the left. Gavin Taylor is fouled and that's a dumb, 
dumb foul on Mountain View with 3.6 seconds to go, sending Fort Morgan to the line. Yeah, that you just can't do that. You cannot do that on a rebound. Don't understand that because he was going to get the rebound and the quarter would have been over. Instead, the Mustangs now have a shot to draw to within seven. Two automatic free throws on the 15th foul. And that one is up and off the back of the rim. Second free throw is upcoming. By Taylor, that's up and that is in and out. Rebound grabbed by Marquez on the left baseline. Fade shot is blocked. Taken by Mendez. That's the end of the opening quarter. So that foul did not hurt Mountain View. We have played eight minutes. It's Mountain View going for the sweep after the girls won tonight over Fort Morgan 66 to 20. Mountain View boys lead 15 to 6 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the second quarter. Mountain View leads Fort Morgan 15 to 6. I mentioned right before the break the Mountain View girls beat Fort Morgan by 46 tonight. Right now just approaching halftime, the Las Vegas Raiders lead the Los Angeles Chargers 42 to nothing. Wow. Who saw that coming? Here is Rodrigo Alvarez with the basketball just across midcourt on the outside left to Taylor. Taylor over to Marquez, swings it left corner for Wiedrich, lobs it down low but over the right hand of Taylor out of bounds, an errant pass. And the Mustangs with eight turnovers. And the basketball goes over to Mountain View. So Mountain View basketball. They had a number zero score, 11 of their 15 points in the first quarter. Into the lane, and number two puts it up, and that's partially blocked by Gavin Taylor. Nice defensive play by the Mustang senior. Mendez near the timeline to Alvarez. Another senior is Rodrigo Alvarez with left-handed dribble, lost control behind his back, nearly fouled. They got a no whistle there. Bounce pass in the high left to Wiedrich. Wiedrich lobbing cross court to Taylor behind the three point line. Penetrates towards the right baseline, picks up the dribble, has to hand it off to Marquez straight away to Mendez all the way. Left handed shot is up and he left it short. Rebound to Mendez off the deflection. He throws up an air ball. Mendez goes again, kicks it back out to Alvarez. Nice perseverance there by Tony Mendez. Right corner Marquez penetrates right baseline, bumped it a foul. That's the same player for Mountain View that committed that foul with 3.6 seconds to go. I don't know that's Dylan Garland, but again, nothing is matched up. That would be his second foul. He's out of the game. And Marquez to throw it in. Neither team has scored in the first minute. And the pass inside tipped away, taken by Marquez off Mendez. Poked out of bounds by Mountain View. Mustangs retain possession. Let's do it again. J.J. holds the ball up high, looking for a cutter. Lobs it way back out to Rodrigo Alvarez. Left-handed dribble into the paint. Jump passes poked away. Loose in the floor. Wiedrich's got it left baseline. Wiedrich looking. And he traveled. I didn't think he moved either foot. But they call a traveling violation. The Mustangs now with nine turnovers. Mountain View with three. Neither team has scored in the first 90 seconds of the second quarter. Again, these teams are a combined 0 and 9. Mountain View 0 and 4, Fort Morgan 0 and 5. On the high right, as they work the ball around straight away. Yeah, just a little weave rotation straight away. 23-3 is good. He's got seven points in the game. Mountain View leads by a dozen. 18 to 6. 6 8 to go. That was nearly an over and back. Got to watch out. Alvarez bodied up, left-handed dribble, left side for Marquez. J.J. takes the three, and that hits nothing but glass. Rebound put back in a foul. Tony Mendez has done a great job on the boards. He's going to go to the stripe after he was hacked in the act. I'm not sure if that was supposedly Garland who committed the foul. The Mendez free throw is in and out. Fort Morgan is two out of six. They get two out of seven now from the line. Charlie Lankford back in for Rodrigo Alvarez. Second free throw, book it. That's good. Mountain View 18, Fort Morgan 7, 5.55 to go before halftime. 
Straight away, now on the outside left with that chest pass. Overhead pass to 2-3, swinging it on the right side. Now near the top. No wide open three is taken. Nice rotation by the Mustangs defensively. And a penetration by 23. Throws it up too strong. Ball is poked out of bounds off of Mountain View. Fort Morgan basketball. Gavin Taylor into Langford. Mustangs can make this a single digit game. Langford's pass taken just beyond midcourt by Mendez. Left handed dribble left of the lane. Kicks it back out to Taylor. Taylor dribbles by defender all the way. Scoops it up. Missed it left hand. Ball is knocked out of bounds by Mountain View. Stays with Fort Morgan. And Marquez to trigger it in right at the basket on the offensive end with 5.23 to go second quarter. Mountain View 18, Fort Morgan 7. Wiedrich on the high left to Langford. Working off a screen out of Marquez in the corner on the overhead pass. Penetrates left baseline, cut off, swings it to Taylor. Takes the long one, misses. 16 feet away, ball is tipped around. And the rebound goes over to the Mountain View Mountain Lions ball. Stripped out of bounds by Marquez in the backcourt. Mountain View basketball. And they will slow it down the other way. A methodical moving of the basketball. At the top, left-handed dribble all the way. Banking and scoring is that player wearing zero again. He's got 13 points in the game. And the lead is 13, 20 to 7. Wiedrich, free throw line, turns, shoots. Back rim, no. Ball is rebounded by Mountain View. Could be Messenger and then a traveling violation. That's what happens when you don't... Look for your outlet, try to get rid of the basketball, and then you get confused and shuffle your feet. That gives the ball back to Fort Morgan with 4.44 to go second quarter. Taylor is out. He played well there during that stretch. Aiden Garver is back in. Marquez lobs it inside. It went off the bottom of the backboard. And out of bounds. That's not good. J.J. just he overestimated his pass there. That's a turnover on Fort Morgan. Here come the Mountain Lions. Langford on the defense. A penetration and a shot up and in. Wow. Over Charlie by that. Whoever's wearing zero. This guy's a stud. He's got 15 points. And the lead is 15. 22 to 7. 423 to go before halftime. Langford chest pass at the top for Wiedrich. Near that left corner. JJ thinks about the three. Dribbles left baseline. Turns. Can't shoot. Jump pass. Cross court. Intercepted. Mountain View with a two on three. Bounce pass to one. Banks misses. And no putback as the ball is wrestled away by Wiedrich. Wiedrich long pass to Marquez with one to beat. Pulls up from ten. Around and no good. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Marquez commits the foul in the backcourt. JJ with his first. With 3.58 remaining second quarter. The Mustangs. Have one point in the quarter, down 15 to six after one, being outscored seven to one in the second. Looks like Christian Velasquez will check in momentarily for Fort Morgan. Long three is no good. Nice ripping of the board out there by Tony Mendez. Foul for behind. Third team foul by Mountain View. Tony Mendez with four fouls. We'll have a little bit of an extended halftime break just to make sure who we've got on this roster. They've only got two players that have scored for Mountain View. That makes my job easier once they get the names. And then that midcourt pass, Errant by Langford. And then the layup, and Langford blocks it out of bounds. Blocks that layup away. Mountain View retains possession, but the Mustangs have 12 turnovers in the game. Mountain View with four. Mountain lines to throw it in. 3.37 to go into the front court. Now in the right corner, jump pass. That's zero again from three, and he missed it off to the left. However, they grab another rebound. They're really hurting Fort Morgan on the boards. Here's 23 with a penetration, and the runner's up. The floater, no good. Rebound to Jackson Wiedrich along the right baseline. His third rebound on the outlet to Garver. 3.17 to go second quarter. Mountain View 22, Fort Morgan 7. Spinning, turning, right of the lane is Garver. He's got to get rid of it. Bounce pass to Langford. He'll retreat towards midcourt. Langford picks up the dribble, chest pass, high left. Here's Mendez penetrating left baseline, reverse layup is up, no but a foul. Tony Mendez, as aggressive as can be. And he will shoot a deuce. For Tony Mendez. I like the way he's playing tonight, without a doubt. Free throw is up and that is good. By Tony M.
second free throw. About to be attempted by Mendez, and that is short. That's zero, who's done everything tonight, pulling down the rebound. Mountain Lions come the other way with a 14-point lead. 2.49 to go before halftime. Fort Morgan girls fell tonight 66-20. to That three is up and in. That's not zero, but 23. They've got all the points. Two players have combined for 24 points. One has 15 points. Or it should be, let's see, is it 14 and 10? Shot is blocked and taken away. Garver's shot is blocked. There's the long lob down low. Kicks it back out. And a three on the left wing is good. That's made by a new player there. We're going to say that's Grayson Morby if the name matches up on the roster. And the lead is now 19-27 to 8. Jackson Wiedrich banks and misses from eight feet away. And pulling down the rebound is Messenger of Mountain View. Chest pass right side. Another three is going to be an air ball off to the left. But chased down by Mountain View. Uh, anyway, chased down, but the foot on the baseline. Fort Morgan basketball with 2.02 to go. They have scored a total of two points in the quarter. Alvarez is back in for Mendez, who played really hard. 27-8 Mountain View Mustangs. They've got to figure things out offensively. Here's Rodrigo Alvarez across the timeline, dribbling to his right, and then he... He is fouled on the floor. That'll be two free throws. That could be Elijah Sava. Yeah, so anyway, two players have combined for 20 for the 27 points. One is 15, the other nine, and then the three-pointer hit moments ago. Rodrigo to shoot two. Free throw is up and in. For Rodrigo Alvarez, he's got three points in the game. Fort Morgan led by both him and Mendez with three. That's what happens when you're still in single digits with a minute 54 to go. Nobody even close to double digits in scoring individually. Second free throw is up, and that's off the back of the rim, and there is a foul. That's a foul against Fort Morgan on the box out there by Jackson Wiedrich. Second team foul. And Mountain View will take the ball to the front court. Swing it around the right side. They have not shot well, but when you get two guys who can do a lot of damage, that's all they need. Now a layup is up and missed on the left side. Rebounded by Aiden Garver. That's his second board of the game. Quickly across the timeline. Garver left to the lane. Jump pass inside. Wiedrich has the shot blocked. Taken by Velasquez. He banks and scores. Christian Velasquez on the follow. And it's 27 to 11, Mountain View, a minute 19 to go before the break. They're going to take some time off the clock and an offensive foul, illegal screen by Garland. That's his third. Since that's an offensive foul, does not uh, warrant free throws. Player control foul. Fort Morgan basketball. Here is Garber on the left side to Langford. Left to the lane, in the lane. Weed Rick puts it up and he put it up too strong. Ball is taken away by Mountain View with a left-handed dribble. Jump pass on the outside right for 2-3. Back out to zero. He traveled. Yeah, that's clearly a travel. He was wondering, what did I do? Well, you could pretty much see it from here. Without a doubt. 50 seconds to go. Second quarter. Garver on the right wing. Backs up. Behind his back. Lost control. The ball is loose. Saved in by Langford. Picked up by Mountain View. Long pass in the lane. The layup is up. In. Oh, no. A defensive foul. Oh, the Mustangs got a huge break. Charlie Langford accepted the contact, but I didn't think he was there in time. But Fort Morgan will take it there. I mean, that's all Charlie could do, but he got there. Look like a little bit late and it even appeared that Zero who committed the foul sidestepped the defender 27 to 11 Fort Morgan basketball across the timeline is Alvarez and he's fouled on the floor that'll be another foul in the bonus The 
This will be two free throws. And what do we have here? It's Langford. He's just going to retreat towards the backcourt. Nothing doing there. Two free throws for senior Rodrigo Alvarez, and the first one is off the back of the iron. Fort Morgan has three field goals made and five free throws made. Second free throw. That's off to the left. And we've got a timeout called by Mountain View. All of a sudden, the second quarter is coming to a standstill. A deliberate standstill. Full timeout, 25 and a half seconds to go. Mountain View leads by a score of 27 to 11. Fort Morgan has not scored, obviously, in double digits in either quarter. And they're not going to have a chance to do so in this quarter. They just got to play some defense. Defense is keeping them eh, somewhat in the game. Because right now they're getting more than doubled up. Keep in mind the Mustangs and Brush Bee Diggers play on Saturday in Brush. 5.30 for the girls, 7 o'clock for the boys. Right here on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. And unless the Fort Morgan boys rally like the girls and like Brush as well, all four teams will be vying for their first wins of the season. And with the schedules both teams have, especially Fort Morgan, it could be their only win. So watch out. You've got to really play well the rest of the way tonight if you're the Fort Morgan boys just to establish some momentum going into Saturday Mountain View basketball the Mustangs with Garver Velasquez Wiedrick Marquez and Rodrigo Alvarez Mountain View working the ball around on the high left. 15 seconds to go. They missed a bunch of threes in this game. If not, they could be up by a lot more. Fort Morgan doesn't have that outside shooting game like Mountain View. Down to seven seconds to go. On the outside left, ball is nearly thrown away. Now spinning is zero. Pulls up inside the three-point line. Misses off to the right. The rebound to Aiden Garver. And that is the end of the opening half. Certainly an uneventful one for these teams who are should be headed to the locker room. <laughs> I, guess, I guess they're tired because they're starting to walk off the floor now. We'll take an extended break with the score. Mountain View 27 Fort Morgan 11 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Thanks. John Beltran back in Fort Morgan. Mountain View boys lead Fort Morgan 27 to 11. Let's go to the third quarter. And I'm just happy that uh, we're able to pretty much identify the players. Since I was able to... <laughs> Got a roster. Keegan Amons out there with Dylan Garland. Well, again, we had the roster, but all the numbers have been switched around. Also out there for Mountain View is Brady Messenger. We've also got a number three out there. That <laughs> doesn't even appear on this one. Oh, what a mess. All right, here we go. With the basketballs, Aiden Wankelman. Now in the right corner, penetrating his Amons all the way. Scoops it up, and he missed it. Threw up an air ball, in fact, and the ball is out of bounds. It went off Rodrigo Alvarez. Langford, Wiedrich, Aiden Garver, Gavin Taylor, Rodrigo Alvarez for the Mustangs. There is the lob into who I believe is Messenger. Now to Amons. Keegan Amons to Garland in the right corner. He'll take the three in and out. Nice, strong two-handed rebound by Charlie Langford. That's his first of the game. It feels like he's done a lot more, but that's just his first rebound. Yeah, Tyson Maris-Benz 
is the one wearing three. As the shot is missed and Weidrich puts it up and he misses off the feed. Gavin Taylor goes for the ball. Now we've got a foul. I think Wankelman fouled from behind in the lane and he did. Adel Wankelman off. Is, yeah, it should have been off a rebound. No free throws there. Aiden Garver to trigger it in. In the left corner for Weidrich. Back out to Alvarez. Dribbling to his right. A crossover there against Messenger. Then he throws... The ball out of bounds intended for Garver in the corner. Fort Morgan with their 14th turnover of the game. And the offense has been rough all night. The Raiders have 49 points tonight against the Chargers. They might outscore both Fort Morgan teams. Girls scored 20 tonight. Boys have 11. With the basketballs, Maris Benz. Now dribbling to his left into the lane is Messenger looking, still looking. Now to Maris Benz, swings it back out to Wankelman. Then his pass is intercepted. It was intended for Garland, taken away by Alvarez, who banks and scores. Rodrigo Alvarez, coast to coast. Five points in the game. The Mustangs down by 14, 27 to 13. 6.38 to go in the third. Messenger spins on Lankford, left of the lane, fades, shoots, scores. That's a good 12-footer there by Brady Messenger. His first points of the game. 6.24 to go. 29-13, to third period. On the high right, Weedrick is double-teamed. Got to get rid of it. Dribbles to his right. Loses control. And it's picked up by Mountain View. The ball's poked out of bounds by Weedrick. Oh, no. They're going to say... <laughs> Bodies go flying, but this is no blood, no foul. So it stays with Fort Morgan. And Langford to throw it in from the corner to the right of the bench. Bounce pass. Went out of bounds, intended for Weidrich. And I think Charlie thought he was going to come back for the ball. He did not, and nobody touched it. So he just threw it away. And Mountain View will have the basketball with 6.15 to go, third quarter, leading by 16. This is pretty much the first of 40, and Mountain View should get there first. Into the front court is Dylan Garland straight away. Garland to his left, feeds it left side to Wankelman. Now back on the high left, Messenger behind his back against Lankford, just scored over him. Cross-court pass taken by Amons. Back out to Messenger, three in the air. Back rim, no. Long rebound to Amons. Amons in the paint, scoops it up. Off to the right. Ball is tipped around, and Alvarez has got it for Fort Morgan. Alvarez across the timeline, double team. Dribbles by two. All the way, he lays it up, and it's blocked out of bounds by Maris Benz. He rejected that one, but the Mustangs retain possession. 5.42 remaining third quarter. Garber to throw it in. Mustangs down 16. In the right corner, overhead pass to Taylor behind the three-point line. Kicks it back out to Jackson Wiedrich working off a screen. Into the lane as Wiedrich scoops it up, and he missed it off to the left, and the ball is rebounded by Mountain View. Foul by Fort Morgan. Foul is committed by Gavin Taylor. Off the rebound from Maris Benz. Taylor with his first. And the Mountain Lions come the other way. Garland working off a screen, spinning. Had the ball deflected from behind. Charlie Langford has got it for Fort Morgan. Langford, watch out for behind. He had it stripped. Bodies on the floor. Tie up possession arrow. Fort Morgan. And who will throw it in? It will be senior Aiden Garver with 5.17 to go third quarter. Mountain View 29, Fort Morgan 13 in the corner to Wiedrich, back out to Charlie. Swings at left corner, Garber penetrates left baseline, scores from 15 feet away. Excellent shot there off the brief penetration there from Aiden Garber. Nice jump shot. He's got three in the game. The Mustangs are down by 14, 29 to 15, 4.55 to go. Here's Garland, left corner, Amons, he puts up a 15-footer and misses. Two-handed rebound by Alvarez, his second of the quarter. Alvarez across the timeline, dribbles to his right, right of the paint, kicks it right corner for Garver, to his left, right wing three, is off the right side of the rim, out of bounds. It is off of Mountain Views, Tyson Maris Benz. And Grayson Morby, who's got a three-pointer in the game, checks in. And Elijah Sava into the game for Mountain View as well. Alvarez lobs it in left corner. Charlie takes the three, and that is short. Strong side rebound is grabbed by Grayson Morby. Four and a half to go in the third. Mountain View by 14 points. 
Garland left wing to Morby. Dribbles into the paint. Throws up a floater. And it's partially deflected out of bounds. I didn't see anybody touch it for Fort Morgan. Aiden Garver's confused and so am I. But they'll have the basketball. Keegan Amos to throw it in. He lobs it at the top to Garland. Will he take the three? No. He dribbles. Turns. Feeds it down low into the paint to Maris. Benz kicks it back out to Morby. Left of the lane. Hop step. Right corner. Amon's three is short. And the ball is rebounded by Jackson Wiedrich of Fort Morgan. Long pass to Garver all the way. Scoops it up and he misses. But a foul. A blocking foul. That's a strong move to the basket by Aiden Garver. With 4.08 to go, he'll shoot a deuce. And the foul is on Dylan Garland. That's his third. That's big. Free throw by Garver is off to the left. Fort Morgan's free throw shooting tonight has been abysmal. 5 of 15 from the line. Second free throw is off the back of the rim. Rebound to Taylor. They'll reset the offense. Taylor shoots and misses from 18 feet away. And the rebound into the hands of Tyson Maris Benz of Mountain View. Garland the other way off a screen, left of the lane, kicks it back out on the left side to Morby. Now in the right corner for Amons. Bounce pass down low for Maris Benz. Jump step there, and then the three is missed over there by Dylan Garland, and the rebound to Charlie Langford. Langford with 3.37 to go in the third. It's a 14 point lead for Mountain View. Langford setting up the offense, dribbling by Morby into the paint. Then he took about five steps. There's the travel. I mean, that was... I, I thought Charlie was going to go for the pylon, but this is not the football field. <laughs> Charlie took a lot of steps there. It wasn't five, but it seemed like that. Turnover number 16 for Fort Morgan. Mountain View with eight. Here come the Mountain Lions the other way with under three and a half to go in the third. Fort Morgan struggles... Continue on offense. Cross-court pass. Here is Saba in the left corner. Morby backs up for a three. Back rim, no. Ball is tipped around, out of bounds. That is off of Dylan Garland. Fort Morgan basketball. If they can just put together a run, they could draw to within single digits. With 3.14 to go. In quarter number three. We'll keep it right here. The timeout is called by Mountain View. Fort Morgan in this quarter has scored four points in the first four minutes and 46 seconds. Be prepared for everything life throws at you. Get car insurance, life insurance, farm insurance, and crop insur insurance, that is. At Gordon Insurance, visit GordonIns.com. That's Gordon Insurance. And since 2003, Western Engineering Consultants has been providing big firm product with small firm relationships. Visit WesternECI.com for more. Well, to throw it in is Aiden Garver into Alvarez. Bounce pass to Aiden Garber. Now back to Alvarez. Crossing the timeline. High right is Jackson Wiedrich. Jump pass Garber. Wide open left wing. Three is off the back of the rim. Ball is out of bounds. Off of Gavin Taylor of Fort Morgan. Six points in the first. Five in the second. Four so far here in the third for the Mustangs. Nowhere close to double digit scoring in any quarter. Dylan Garland off a screen, picks up the dribble, overhead pass right side. That's taken by Saba, ball stripped by Marquez, but flagged down by his teammate. Here is Dylan Garland right side. Garland's going to dribble to his right, spinning in the lane against Alvarez, shooting. Ball is blocked out of bounds by Gavin Taylor on that little six-foot fadeaway. Mountain View retains possession. So they'll trigger it in. There's that lob near the right corner. Now back out straight away to Garland. Dylan Garland to his right. Here is Grayson Morby. Left of the lane. Working the ball around. Then a hook shot is up and in. That is made in the lane. A nice hook shot to extend the lead. See if that player on the roster is correct. That's another 
Yeah, we don't even have him on there. That's a number two. 31 to 15, Marquez fades right baseline and scores. J.J. Marquez scores on the right baseline. Yeah, just when you thought you had everybody covered, a number two scores for Mountain View. 31-17, a minute 50 to go before the end of the third. There's the runner up and in and a foul. Grayson Morby in the lane to the line. Count it. Mustang foul on Gavin Taylor is second. Morby now with five points to shoot the end one. To double up the Mustangs. Bends, dribbles, shoots, connects. 34-17, a minute 44 to go, third quarter. Garver, high left, left corner for Marquez. Dribbles by a defender, trapped and traveled. Yeah, the Mustangs are certainly playing well enough defensively, but Mountain View could be... They, they could be... Well, I hate to say second worst with the Mustangs, the worst team in the conference, but I think that's probably the reality this season. Probably the reality. 0-9 combined. Garland right of the lane, spins it back out to Morby. Bounce pass left baseline to Elijah Saba, and the ball is poked out of bounds. It went off Mountain View on the air and pass that Garber tipped away, but it deflected off a lion. Turnover number nine for Mountain View with a minute 25 to go in the third quarter. And Messenger will come back in for Darius Garland, or Dylan Garland, Darius Simmons is the guy right next to him. 15 points for Garland in the opening half, did not score in the third quarter unless he comes back in. Garver, chest pass, high left for Weedrick. Weedrick double team, got to get rid of the basketball. Weedrick, jump pass, cross court to Garver, penetrates right baseline. He is picked up by two defenders. He fades, shoots, and he misses off the back of the rim. Ball is out of bounds, off of Marquez. Mountain View basketball with a minute three to go. Keegan Amons is back in for Mountain View. It's been a long night for Mustang basketball, but this is anticipated with some growing pains this season. A year of transition for Fort Morgan basketball. Down to 52 seconds to go. The Amons three is off the back of the rim and Mountain View's missed a bunch of threes. Ball deflected into the hands of J.J. Marquez. He lobs it down low for Weedrick and he's fouled as he misses off the bottom of the backboard. He went down hard to the floor. Jackson Weedrick to shoot a deuce. That foul committed by Keegan Amons, his second. Weedrick has not scored tonight and still hasn't. That was not close, well off to the right. They're gonna have to shoot a lot of free throws in practice. A lot of free throws. That one's up and in, even with that one there. Six out of 18 from the line. Other way, baseball pass to Amon's left baseline, tries to save it in, falling out of bounds, does the Messenger, and his runner's up and in on the left baseline. Little seven to eight footer for Brady Messenger. He's got four points on the quarter, 36 to 18, 25 seconds to go. Crossover dribble by Garber, he fades, he shoots and misses from 15, ball is tipped around into the hands of Keegan Amon's. Amon's a mountain view, crossing the timeline. With 12 seconds to go, straight away, that's number two. Now to the left, here is Brady Messenger. Straight away, back out to Morby. Dribbles to his left with five, with four. Left baseline, jump pass, corner. Three is up, and that one is no good. It's missed by Saba. That's the end of the quarter. As the rebound is grabbed by Aiden Garver. Well, the Mustangs held Mountain View to nine points in the quarter. The problem is... Fort Morgan scored just seven. We'll head to the fourth quarter. We'll do that in one minute. Eight more minutes of basketball to go tonight. Mountain View 36, Fort Morgan 18 on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Counties B106. Let's begin the fourth quarter. Mountain View basketball. Brady Messenger guarded by Charlie Langford out there for the Mustangs with Rodrigo Alvarez. Aiden Garver, J.J. Marquez, and Jackson Weedrick 
Into the left corner with the basketball is Amon. The ball is thrown away, though, out of bounds. Turnover 10 for Mountain View. Messenger and Morby along with Saba. Number two's out there and Keegan Amon's on the left wing. Is Marquez, jump pass right wing to Rodrigo Alvarez. Right of the lane, here's Weedrick. Weedrick out to Garber. He's got the wide open left wing three and he missed it off the back of the rim. Long rebound is grabbed by Grayson Morby. Between his legs, left wing three, and that's an air ball. I mean, neither team is a good shooting team whatsoever. Garber crossing the timeline. Garber right-handed dribble back out to Langford straight away. On the right wing behind the three-point line, Marquez three is well short. And Keegan Amons has the board for Mountain View. One minute expired, fourth quarter. Mountain View 36, Fort Morgan 18. There's the lob on the left wing, down low for Amons. His shot is blocked, but a foul as he went up to the left of the basket and fouled by J.J. Marquez. That'll be his second. And two free throws for Keegan Amons. He had nine points in the first half, nothing. In fact, this is only the second free throw taken by Mountain View in the half, and it's missed off to the right. Amazing. Ounce of view, not as aggressive as Fort Morgan offensively, but the Mustangs unable to capitalize, shooting 33% from the line. Next free throw is up, and that's in. Keegan Amons has given Mountain View their biggest lead, 37-18 with 6.52 to go in the game. Lob to Weedrick on the outside left. Charlie for a three. That's off the back of the rim. Rebound to Weedrick, and then he had the ball stripped out of bounds. Fifth rebound for Jackson. Mustang basketball. Rodrigo Alvarez to throw it in. Left of the basket offensive end. Alvarez looking, looking. Left corner for Garber. Penetrates. Cut off over there. Now re-penetrates underneath the basket. Trapped by two defenders. And then did he commit a foul or just what's the call there? It's, it's offensive. Yep, just a turnover. I guess he traveled. I didn't even see the traveling violation, but obviously against Fort Morgan, Mountain View's got the basketball. Messenger underneath his own basket, trapped by Langford, picks up the dribble, lobs it to Amons. Cross-court pass into the front court taken. Now inside, Morby's shot is blocked out of bounds beautifully by Aiden Garver. Oh, they're going to say a foul. The trail official said that Garver fouled Grayson Morby. So no clean block, instead two free throws. First free throw by Morby, who's got six points tonight, is up and in. Yeah, Mountain View's going to struggle to win six or seven games this year. And that might be generous considering the strength of this conference. But they do have Fort Morgan again at home. Second free throw in the air. Yes. 39 to 18. We'll have a short post game show once we get there. Still six minutes and 20 seconds to go with basketball. Right corner Marquez behind the three point line. Penetrates right baseline. Jump pass left wing Garver. He'll take the three. He'll miss it off the bottom of the backboard. Got no rim. Keegan Amons away with a rebound. Left handed dribble by Morby. Cross court bounce pass taken by Saba. Now to Amons. Amons right to the free throw line against Rodrigo Alvarez. He muscles it up, it misses, but an offensive foul. How about and an offensive foul? Yeah, it didn't look like it was defensive. Garver went to the floor, Amons with a personal. Yeah, when you muscle it up, you're really not using much finesse and too much contact there. Mustangs come the other way with Alvarez working off a screen from Weedrick on the high right, dribbling towards the corner, bounce pass to Marquez, scoops it up and misses, and the ball is loose in the corner, taken by Garver. Penetrates left baseline, whistle and a foul on Mountain View. Mountain View foul is on Aiden Wankelman. Substitutions, Messenger back in, along with Maris Benz and Elijah Saba who was in and out and back in. The trigger it in is Aiden Garber. And then he lobs it, but it went off a Mountain View player. They intercept. 
Here in the left corner is Messenger dribbling to his right, left to the lane. Bounce pass inside. Bodies go flying. A wild shot is missed over there by Maris Benz and rebounded by Aiden Garber. Could have been a whistle. There was none. Inside to Marquez. Fade shoots and scores. A little right-handed hook by J.J. Marquez. He's got four. But the Mustangs trail by 19-39 to 20. Jump pass, front court, Messenger. Left corner, faking the three as Wankelman. Bounce pass inside towards Messenger. Ball is poked away, and it's intercepted by Charlie Lankford. Long baseball pass. Went about three feet over Marquez out of bounds. Fort Morgan has turned it over 19 times to 12 for Mountain View. Mustangs applying the pressure in the backcourt. Both teams have committed 2,000 a quarter. On the right wing, Wankelman bounce pass to Maris Benz, and he banks it in. Maris Benz scores for the first time in the game. 41 to 20, 448 to go. This looks like it's getting a little bit out of control. The layup is up and in by Aiden Garver. Left of the basket. They kind of left him alone, almost like a prevent defense. Long pass to Wankelman. He banks it in. Langford went flying. Couldn't catch up to Aiden Wankelman, who scored. And it's 43-22. Baseball pass tipped away. Right baseline. Wiedrich shot is up and in. Little 10-footer. Well, I think the Mustangs are going to score 10 points in the quarter. They've got six. And we haven't played halfway through this quarter. Baseball pass outside right. Wankelman now here's Garland. No look pass to Maris. Benz fouled by Garber as he went up for a shot. Why well, do I have a feeling the last four minutes could take an eternity? Because right now we're seeing a lot of street ball. 43-24. Maris Benz to shoot two. Two dribbles, a spin, a shot and a bucket. Tony Mendez has not played in the second half. He's back into the game. Mountain View leads by 20. How about 21? Second free throw is in. 45-24. Four minutes to go. Aiden Garver on the outside left to the floor goes Charlie Langford in the left corner penetrating as Mendez all the way puts it up and in! Off the glass, Tony Mendez contested, but is able to bank it in with the right hand. 45-26 on the outside left is Wankelman. Straight away is Messenger stripped from behind, but he picks up the ball. Then there's a foul. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see too many fouls here. If that's Fort Morgan, that's their fourth. Yeah, you want to see basketball, not... Oh, no, it's going to... Nope, check that. They're going to call that on Messenger. That's his second for Mountain View. Both teams have three fouls. Yeah, let's end this cleanly with three and a half to go. 45-26. Lang for the other way. Strip from behind. Mountain View's got the basketball. Garland, no look pass to Wankelman. Shot blocked by Marquez. Put back is missed by Mountain View's. Elijah Saba, then we have a kicking violation on Fort Morgan. Mountain View retains possession. 3.17 to go in the game, 45-26. Mountain View with the lead, and then the shot is up and in. That's a three-pointer made by Garland. I looked away for a second, but I believe it was Garland who nailed the three. They're up by 22, and the ball is knocked out of bounds on the pass from Marquez, intended for Mendez down low. And even three minutes to go in the game. Lob near midcourt towards Charlie Langford. Langford behind his back, dribbles to his left, behind the three-point line, then has the ball knocked from behind, but it's taken by Mendez. Mendez in the lane, lays it up, and he missed it. And the ball is rebounded beautifully by Elijah Saba. On the outlet to Garland. Garland did not score until this three-pointer that he made. He hadn't scored since the first half. He's got 18. Garland gets the feed, lays it up, left it short, but he's fouled from behind by J.J. Marquez. Two free throws for Dylan Garvin. J.J. with his third. Yeah, this will be a real quick post-game show. Garland now getting back into the groove of the game. 
Christian Velasquez about to check in. Free throw is off to the left. Mustangs will drop to 0-6. Mountain View will win for the first time this year in five tries. And they have controlled the basketball game from the outset, up 15-6 after one. With two and one-half minutes to go in the game. Second free throw is up and in. It rattles home for Dylan Garland, who's got 19. And he will take a breather for the remainder of the game. While Mountain View clears the bench. And with players who probably changed numbers, and I see a couple of more that I didn't get even during halftime. Here's Aiden Garver on the outside right. Garver into the paint all the way, scoops it up, and he misses but a foul. And here we go with these fouls. Oh. That's committed by... <laughs> well, let's see. All these uniform number changes. The free throw is good. It's almost like they've added players to the roster. That's a number 10. Second free throw is in. At this point, it really doesn't matter. You're down 21 of you, the Mustangs. Cross the timeline. Here's Morby, left baseline, floats it up and in. Oh, beautiful move by Grayson Morby. He's got 10 in the game. Here is Langford fading right baseline and scoring. Took a hop, a little bounce, I should say, off the rim and off the glass, and it went down for Charlie Langford. The other way, the three is up, and that is in. Holy Mahungus Messenger nails the three. He's got seven points all in this half, 54 to 30. Let's just get no fouls. A minute 39 to go. The three by Langford is off the back of the rim. Ball is tipped around. Velasquez has it. Back out to Wiedrich. His shot is up and in just inside the three-point line. How about Fort Morgan's offense? 14 points in the quarter. They had 18 through the first three. Left wing three is up and that's missed. Tony Mendez with a Fort Morgan rebound is fifth. Minute 16 to go in the game, 54 to 30. Garver the other way into the paint, lays it up way too strong. Ball is tipped around near midcourt. Charlie Langford picks it up, left-handed dribble. At the top, hop step, scoops it up and in. Charlie Langford with a beautiful move. Four points all in the quarter, 56 seconds to go. 54-34, Mountain View the other way. The shot is up and missed. My messenger on the little layup attempt. Rebound to Mendez, jump pass here to Velasquez. He puts it up and he misses, but he's fouled. Velasquez to shoot a deuce. Foul on Keegan Amons is fourth. Free throw by Cristian Velasquez is way off to the right. Six of 19 unofficially. Well, I think it's better now. It's maybe seven. We'll, we'll check the numbers. That free throw's also missed. Rebound to Amons. Jump pass to Messenger. Here's the long pass. Long three is up, and that's missed. That's a break taken by one of the players we don't have on the roster. Rebound to Charlie Langford. Pass towards Velasquez is picked off. Fort Morgan turnover. It's a three on one. And then the scoop layup is up and in. Off the little scoop and score. Not a football scoop and score, but a different version. 56-34, Garber is fouled. What are you doing, Mountain View? What are you doing? You're up by 22 committing fouls inside of 20 seconds. Garber to shoot two. Aiden Garber has got seven points, six in this half. Free throw is up. And he missed it off the lip of the rim. And Fort Morgan's free throw shooting has been well below par. Second free throw is perfect. 56-35. Let's just run out the clock. Charlie's pressuring, but he doesn't need to do that at this point. Just back off and let this game expire. Six seconds to go. Pass towards Amon. And Messenger will hold the basketball. 
and the Mountain View Mountain Lions have won the game tonight over the Fort Morgan Mustangs 56 to 35 let's get to the Mustang post game show tonight brought to you by advanced agri solutions now's the time to begin your planning for next year's growing season and you can certainly do that by calling Dusty or Roxy 970-571-2024 15 to 6 after 1 Mountain View led 27 to 11 at the break they outscored Fort Morgan I wouldn't say much outscored 9 to 7 in the third led by 18 and then a 20 to 17 fourth quarter for the Mountain Lions as they win the ball game 56 to 35 again since we had issues with the roster the scoring is a little bit spotty but we can tell you that Dylan Garland 19 points 10 apiece for Keegan Amons and Grayson Morby seven for Brady Messenger and then we had a couple of other players chip in with a couple of points that we didn't identify initially the Mustangs got eight points from Aiden Garber seven in the game from Jackson Weedrick five from Rodrigo Alvarez and Tony Mendez four apiece from JJ Marquez and Charlie Langford two apiece from Gavin Taylor and Christian Velasquez the Mustangs got seven rebounds from Aiden Garber and Keegan Amons had five unofficially for Mountain View the Mustangs have committed a total of 21 turnovers Mountain View with 12 and again the free throw shooting was a major mishap for the Mustangs in the game as they were 9 out of 24 38 percent meanwhile Mountain View didn't attempt many free throws however in the second half they were 7 of 9 8 out of 10 in the game for 80 percent Mountain View moves to 1 and 4 and the Mustangs fall to 0 and 6 we'll be back with you coming up on Saturday night 5 30 and 7 o'clock on B106 and Eastern Plain Sports Network when the Mustangs are in brush the girls games girls game I should say at 5 30 once again the boys game at 7 o'clock as they take on the beat diggers from the beat seller final score is once again tonight the Mountain View girls defeat Fort Morgan 66 to 20 and the Mountain View boys beat Fort Morgan 56 to 35 have a great rest of your evening and God bless I'm John Beltran on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network